Hello. Hello. Welcome. Sorry for being late. We had a driver issue. <laughs> Not the driver kind, though. <laughs> sort of. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Carol. Janice. Karen. Welcome. Louise. Lana. Patsy. Ruth. Cecilia, how you guys doing tonight? Let us know if you can hear us on Facebook and YouTube. Yes. Be sure and say hello because we have a giveaway for you tonight as well. Hey, Donna, how are you tonight? I'm playing with scissors today. Joan's playing with scissors. I'm not running, just playing. <laughs> and keep all my packages set too can hear you fine on facebook thank you debbie very appreciated hi bernadine how are you tonight facebook is good donna you're on youtube it looks like no, youtube is good thank you patsy always appreciate the feedback ladies kathy carol how are you tonight linda welcome welcome Let a few people hop on there since we were a little late getting started here today. Hopefully they didn't give up on us. Well, Shall we sit, get started while you're practicing your golf swing? Yeah. Who are we? We are Sewing Machines Express, Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, <laughs> <laughs> and Quilt Sampler. The websites are... QHQ, the number two.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, quiltershq.com, and who do they leave out? Quiltsampler.com. And today we have a fun project. Fun project. I was inspired. I don't remember where I saw it, but I was inspired and I thought you would be too. So we're going to do just a real simple raw edge applique pattern. There's no pattern, it's free motion. This is where your Creativity just comes out, but we have some show and tells for you too. We do have show and tells. I have been busy on my long arm, for sure. I, I have another one loaded up waiting. Um, Carol, which machine is this? This beauty is from Janome. And it is heavy. I think we could come around, Joan. <laughs> So we just had um, AQS Branson. I'll come all the way over so we can see it. They wanna, they they know what I look like. They wanna see the machine. <laughs> so this is the Janome M8, and the reason that I got this out is because we are doing a free motion quilting project with the Janome ASR, which is a stitch regulated quilting foot. Hey Carla, welcome to so, the show. So, very cool. Hey Linda. If you've never seen it, it is 13 and a half inches from throat, throat, to needle. And if you have the needle all the way in the left position, it is 13.75. I love Janome and Elma because they make you a better sewer, so whatever you want to do, you just go to it. So we're doing free motion. You, this one has a ruler work foot. Um, this foot has several attachments. Let me just grab the box because it comes in a really cool box too. It is a really cool box. And show you the box because it comes in this pretty box that matches the machine and so you have your closed toe foot your glide foot and then you also have your ruler foot so you can do ruler work with this machine it's very cool and you'll get a chance to see it tonight and I'm excited to show it to you because we actually have a bunch of these machines 
available. We just did AQS Branson and um, the classroom model bill. We have classroom models at a ridiculously low price. Shall we just dive in? I think so. So I think up they're on the ready website, to get doing a free motion project. Who doesn't want to do a free motion project that quilts itself as it goes? Hey Peggy. So we're just doing a little wall hanging. You know, my walls are bare. So hey maybe for a little while you are gonna be making home projects with me because um you know, we're gonna have stuff to hang up. My yeah. walls are echoey. So Ruth the, wanted to know, um, is the machine quilt only? So I think I know what your question is. It does not do embroidery. This is a sewing only machine. But not necessarily just quilting, right? But I mean, right. So anything sewing related. Sewing. Yes. But the cool feature is, is the ASR and you can right. do free motion quilting and you got some throat space to work with. So. Right. And so this project you quilt as you go along so i have a sandwich i'm just using a half yard on each side and i picked white because these are such fun fabrics i'm using the fabrics from which one is this Zena. you grabbed a bunch of them Zena, and i put them on the website too so if you want to go look at them they're they're five bucks to get these little mini charms and we're just gonna make pebbles but we're gonna quilt as we go so I'm you've just been gonna... on a pebble kick too right? i have been a little so, pebbly needle down needle up so i can bring my bobbin thread up which is really short because i don't think i'm gonna grab it with a needle i'm gonna grab it like that Okay, we're just going to have to make do with a really short tail. And so, oh, I'm going to show you the pedal for this, too. <laughs> hey, Kathy, how are you? Welcome to the show. No, we're not under snow. We got some flurries, but we didn't get the snowstorm. So. <laughs> it also comes with a really giant pedal. So, um, if you are interested in one of the classroom machines, you'll need to call Sewing Machines Express in Springfield, and their number is... 417-886-1230. And so we're just gonna put the pedal down here and we're just gonna sew kind of, oh, I gotta select what I'm doing here. Hey, April, how are you? Welcome to the kind show. Kind of a pebbly looking. I love the foot pedal, yeah. That's in case you have a bigger foot. <laughs> hey, Danita, how are you tonight? April, welcome to the show. And I'm going to go around this a couple of times because I really want it to be secured down well. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to clip it because I don't really care what the back of it looks like because I am going to hang this on a wall. So I'll show you the back. So you can kind of see because I picked out kind of a fuchsia thread. And so the reason I got out all these scissors is because I wanted to test them out and see which ones I like best for doing applique. And then we're just going to trim. around it and we don't have to worry about you know getting too close <laughs> it is all just raw edge yeah happy early easter everyone hey bonnie welcome to the show yeah they said the big foot pedal yeah or if you want to go really fast or if you want to go really fast i'm kind of taking my time here because um free motion free motion takes me a minute to get into the groove I just sewed that one, so I'm going to pick this one with little stars. And I'm going to go kind of close to the project 
that I just did. I can kind of see it through an outline. And it's beeping at me because I'm moving the fabric faster than it sews. So it's kind of good because it's going to keep you kind of at a steady speed. Can you do a whole quilt with this? You absolutely could with this machine pretty easily. I tried those. They're okay. Let's try these. So in, in the middle of free motion quilting, we're doing a scissor review. I am. <laughs> these are truly applique scissors. These are the Duckbill from Farmore. And I do like far more scissors. They're nice and sharp and Kathy said she loves free motion, but she uses the gloves. Starting to come together. April's still learning. Vicky said she's not good at it, but tried it. Well, this practice. Right? This project is for everybody because you don't have to be good at it. You're you're making just random kind of bean kidney circle shapes. Yeah, so maybe a little technique that you can kind of go through on what's a good way to start. Yeah, so I mean, it gets you used to moving the fabric under the the foot. I'm just trying to get my thread out of the way here. So they don't have to be any particular shape. This one's going to be kind of squarish. So Kathy said she always tries to imagine puzzle pieces when she's doing it. Mm -hmm. What do you visualize? Um, yeah, I kind of have a pattern picked out when, um, when I'm doing quilting, so I kind of try to follow along with that, like what my theme is. Let's try these. Get this a close is another. Up. Yeah, I'm going to come around, guys, and then we'll get some close-ups here. This is another far easier. more set. Maybe we can. Oh, scissors. I like these. So these are just curved, and these are also on the website for you to take a peek at. And so we're just trimming around and we're just making little pebbles. Isn't that cute? So I have a little trash can right there. And so I'm kind of going in order because I'm doing this graduated effect. So um, I'm going to put the next one right there. And so that I can kind of see we're getting them kind of close together. And this is just going to be a wall hanging. So it doesn't have to be super huge or anything. So let's do the next one. And I just kind of want to glance at where my pebble is going to go, where it's going to wind up. And I think right about there. So they ask kind of what stitch length would you use? I'm using um, two and a half. Um, it's actually 2.4 millimeter. And I'm going to go around it twice because it's kind of outlining it a little bit. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. Or if you go over three times. And Kathy was saying she chose to like hum a song there to get a, like a rhythm. Jeremiah was... No, you don't she, want to hear she me She said sing. happy birthday. <laughs> That's what she was singing. I think this is my favorite. These. But I'll give you information on all three sets. And it's coming together. What do you guys think of this project? It's kind of fun, I think. What do you guys think? 
Much better to see close up. Length is determined by how fast you sew. Not on this machine, Kathy. On this machine, it's stitch regulated. So this machine is actually regulating the stitch for you. So if I speed up, see how the machine speeds up? And if I slow down, the machine slows down. And I'm trying to make like little, you know, kidney shapes or bean shapes so that they look more like pebbles. And then I am just using the cutter because I'm going to hang this on a wall so it'll look fine. Uh, so somebody was asking, or Patsy was asking, what project are you doing? You're really just kind of... A creative project, right? Right. I saw this. I don't remember where I saw it. If if it was YouTube or Pinterest or any of the sites, but um, I saw. I thought it was really cute, and I thought, you know what? That's so easy. And sometimes all you need to do a project like this is to see somebody make it and see that it's possible and how easy it is. Because look at how quickly this is going together. And if you use mini charms, um, it's going to go really quick. Someone asked, uh, can embroidery scissors be sharpened? Um, I don't know. If the, you know, we'll have to ask we'll have Chris. We'll to ask Chris down at the foot sampler if the knife's going to be sharpened or not. Because they have that curved blade on them. Right. down there next week so definitely, um, yeah if you nice. didn't know the quilt, quilt sampler does sharpen scissors so this would be a good like if any of you use AccuQuilt this would be a good um, thing to use up all your little scraps you know your little leftover stuff that you get Mm -hmm. when you're cutting so you wind up with all these little things you could just get a pile of them and just randomly sew onto background fabric and speaking of a pinterest i do believe our pinterest page is up with a few things on there so yep it's joan sews on pinterest so you can go to pinterest isn't it i think it is or is it Quilters HQ? I think it's not Pinterest page, it's Quilters HQ. Okay. Quilters HQ on Pinterest, and you can kind of see some stuff. Hey, Joan, welcome to the show. Welcome, Joan. Hey, Cheryl. We're just doing a little free motion project here that... I'm making a wall hanging. I saw this on a page. I don't remember what page where I saw it. But I thought it was really cute. And I thought, how easy is that? So this would also make a really cute little, you know, baby quilt, toddler quilt. And then you just trim around each piece. It's being quilted at the same time as you're piecing or appliqueing, if you want to call it call it that. So it's just raw edge applique. I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm liking the way it's turning out. We're just kind of going in order as they come off of the stack. So you just took a little, just a recap for people that just hopped on. So this is a half yard of fabric, um, Paintbrush Studios white, and a layer of batting, and this is mini charms. So we had lots, so that one's really cute. And then the gradient colors, um, that's kind of how I'm going. It doesn't have to be how you go. You could make it and just... Um, 
use any color way you want. You could be just totally random all over it. And I'm going around it twice because I want to make sure it's really tacked down. Okay. Is it similar to needle turned method? Yes, except without the needle turn. So this is, there's no stabilizer. Oops, wrong ones. It's just a little piece of fabric. And we're just trimming around the excess. This is raw edge applique. <laughs> Great way to use up those little pieces that you just can't seem to throw away. <laughs> I think it would be. I mean, especially, you know, you could make a, a pillow or a bench pillow with the fabrics that you have left over from making a quilt. And that would be awesome. So I'm just kind of fitting this square. So I have like this spot right here. So I'm just kind of fitting this square in and just trust the process because um, you're going to get pretty even placement of your pieces. Yeah, these scissors all are individual scissor packages. Not yeah. like our embroidery set. We do have a nice embroidery set of scissors. Oh, man, man. Mine's your strawberry shortcake. It does, a little bit. This was a really, we still have a couple of pieces of this collection left. Um, then, of course, we have all of the, the mini charms. But I think sometimes people need... Um, inspiration for the mini charms. They're just such small pieces of fabric. I did find the pillow though that we've made. Isn't that cool? Or is it just me? Do you guys like it? Yeah. yeah. Very. And we're going into the next color. So we won't take up, we got a couple more pieces that we can put on. And then we have some really cool show and tells. Or is it shows and tell? Is it shows and tell? Sure, tells? shows and tell. I think it's shows and tell. tell. Well, yeah, and you can see it smooth, like speed up and slow down as I speed up and slow down. This does take a little bit of practice. This is not something you're just going to pick up and, oh my gosh, oh, look at all the quilting I've done. It's like every other sewing skill. It's going to take time and practice. Hey, Teresa, welcome to the show. But this, this is super easy. I think having a good pair of scissors is key. You know, I have really big hands, so getting a pair that that fit on my giant thumb is important. So what do you think? Are you inspired? Are you wanting to make this project for yourself? I did not spray paste the sandwich, but I probably should have, but I didn't. Um, it's such a small piece. Hey, Cindy, welcome to the show. You answer? Did you spray base? No. I didn't answer yes. that one. 
I could have probably would have had a better result. Um, I didn't. It's such a small piece that I can just keep smoothing it out and have it be fine. So, Lana was asking, will you put a border or just bind? How will you finish something like this? I will just bind it and I will probably put like a little hanging sleeve or something. Um, so I can just put a little dowel rod through it and hang it up. Um, this is so small too. You can just put like pins in it and well, that would work well too. Well, Patsy, then this is, we're trying to get some inspiration for you and you can go sew. <laughs> yeah. It does kind of remind you a little bit of some strawberry shortcake. Right? It does kind of have that, you know, strawberry shortcake kind of feel. But could, you could do this with any domestic. You would just put your darning foot on or whatever free motion quilting foot you have for your machine, and that would work. Triangle hanging method. Talk more about that, Patsy. Oh, I know what you're, she's oh, talking about. Okay. But so what she's talking about is sewing triangles into the corner of your quilt. And then you can po poke a dowel rod through. Um, each one, each side, and hang it up that way. And then just hang the dowel rod. That's the same color. Onto orange. Let's see what this looks like. I know, right? This is going to be really cool. I thought it was a really cool project. Reminds you of. Um... Starburst or something. <laughs> oh, now I want Starburst. Or Smarties. Everybody loves Smarties. It's universal. And somebody said not the really sour ones. No, that was me. I don't really like the really sour ones. Hey, Teresa. How are you tonight? And it doesn't have to be like super cleanly cut. I think the, the raw edge just kind of adds to the charm a little bit. Put one there. We'll kind of trying to stay in a square shape. This it's not a really big project because I don't have a lot of charm squares. But um Great idea, Kathy. Hey, Linda, welcome to the show. So, all those scraps that you can't bear to part with, you know, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to make a whole quilt. This could be a really cool border on a quilt, too. So, and nothing says that you have to do it as it's quilted. You could just have a blank border on your quill and then do this after it's quilted too. Linda could do this on her sit down Bernina. Absolutely. Be a fun little project. And if you're really creative, you know, you could make like hearts and all kinds of stuff. And we're moving on to yellow. It's like a canvas here. It is exactly like a canvas. Oops. I need to hold on to my fabric because I should have started with the other side. There we go.
Yeah, we need some bright colors, wouldn't you say? It's kind of gloomy today. So this is perfect. I'm loving how this is turning out. What do you think? Let me hold it back a little bit. Yes. Very yeah, cool. It's really cool. So it's kind of, it's just kind of fun. And it's very soothing. <laughs> I can tell you, it's very relaxing. Let's do another yellow right there. And I'm not changing my thread color. I started out with this really bright fuchsia and it is going to be the same color throughout the whole thing. So, on your hands, so Peggy was mentioning how your hands feel. What do they get? Tense? How do people kind of handle that? Well, I'm just, I'm actually gripping it like this and then using this one to just kind of steady. Kind of move things around. Yeah. So it's not a huge piece of fabric, so it's not real difficult. Um, the sewing machine manufacturers, if you're doing a whole quilt quilt, there's a product that I like. It's the gripper rings, and those are make it really nice to move your fabric around. To cut down on that fatigue a little bit. Yeah, shoulders and hands get tired, and so people use the gloves because they grip well. I like the rings because you don't have to take your gloves off if you need to change something. Yeah, Kathy said she uses the gloves. So yeah. If you're used to them. If you're used to them, then. So I'll finish all of these one, these, and because um, we got some show and tell for you. Um, hey, kitty! Welcome to the show. From home, I'll take my thread with me and. We'll see. We might be able to. I'll have to talk to marketing and see if we can turn this possibly into a little tutorial video. But lots of applications. So like quilt edge, baby quilt, bench pillow. I mean, <laughs> if you can think it up, you can do it. Well, Kathy, I know about that endodontist. I had a root canal not long ago, and I have to go to the dentist on Monday to get a crown refill temp thing something. <laughs> so I'm sympathetic to you, and I'm sure everybody will think of you um, while you're getting your root canal and they're sewing. Okay. Uh, scissors prices. So the scissors that I like, these are... The, um, these are far more four inch fine point. They're $17.99. These are on the website. If you go to, um, I put them in our special little shortcut page, which is if you go to quiltershq.com. And we can post a link to it too. Yeah, we can post a link to it too. Um, you can just purchase them on the, the website too. I did like these. Um, the duckbill, um, they're very comfortable. So this will be my second choice. And these are $14.99. So nice price for a good pair of duckbill applique scissors. I have a set of these at home. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I have a set like that at home too. And then the Havels would be my third choice, but don't exclude these because these have a rounded point. I don't know if you can see it. So they're not sharp. The Both of these have sharp points. And so the, the ones that don't have the sharp point are nice because you don't poke a hole in your, your fabric. That's why I grabbed these. Um, just not as comfortable for my giant Fingers. hands. So if you have smaller hands, these would probably be fine for you. And these are eleven ninety nine. And they're on the products page. And they are all on the products page. Plus, um, all of the this the pack that I'm using is called Xena. They're four ninety nine. I think all of these are four ninety nine. Yes. So I put on the webs the website all of the mini charms that we had in stock. But this is the one that I'm using. It's 
Xena. I need to rename that pattern, that page. But super cute. The back doesn't look great, so I don't know if it's like, you know, if you bring your thread up and trim it the way that we're supposed to when we're doing quilting. This is going to hang on a wall, so I don't really care what the back looks like. But if you're going to do it as a baby quilt, you definitely want to bring those threads up and tie them off. And I can show you how to do that if you want to come closer. Let me take my bobbin out so I can get a long enough tail. And I'll show you how you bring your threads up. So I'm going to hang on to that because I want this really long tail. I don't want to cut. Let me grab another. There we go. And I'll show you how to finish it off nicely with another piece of green. So when you're Position that there. We're gonna start right there. You're gonna hold on to this this top thread. Okay. Needle down, needle up, and then slide it under just like that to grab that bobbin thread. And so you want to have both threads on the top of your project. And this is how we do in regular quilting. So let me sew my pattern real quick. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to bring my presser foot up because you want to bring the other side of it up too. We're going to pull the whole thing. I'm going to raise my presser foot to release the tension. Bring the whole thing forward. Slide it back right underneath the needle. And I'm hanging on to the thread. I don't know if you can see it there because the needle is kind of bright. But my thread is looped around my finger. And we're going to go needle down. Needle up. And you can see my bobbin thread just came up with it. And I'll show you the back so you can see the difference. And then you just cut both of them. And so there's the difference. Oh, yeah, much cleaner. Yeah. So if you're going to do it as a quilt, you know, or a baby blanket or something that you're going to give to somebody and you want it to be really nice, pull your thread up to the top. This is going to hang onto a wall. And... Superman is never going to come visit me. So nobody is going to see through it to see what the back of it looks like. Shall we do our show and tell? Sure. Show and tell. Oh, you want to hold it up? You want to... A couple of really cute, cute, cute projects. I've been busy. Um, this is a Jelly Roll project. I love this. It is so pretty. And so um, I was talking to the staff about making kits for this, and they, I think that we're going to. It is a free pattern. It is not up on the website yet, but we will get it loaded up there. It came out really fun, didn't it? Oh, I just love it. And the back is this strawberries. <laughs> really cool. Or are those just pineapples yellow. on the back? Is there? Oh, yeah, it's strawberries. How funny. <laughs> I love this quote. This turned out so, so pretty. I got it. Strawberries and smoothies are reoccurring. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Food is a reoccurring theme, too. Oh, we haven't talked about Easter dinner. We can always go through that. I don't know what people are having. Maybe we need to ask that question. Yeah, what's everybody making for, for Easter dinner? Yeah. Because we're having ham. Yeah, we are going to have some ham. And it's finished. So oh, nice. that's right. This is our table. All the way. 
I think it turned out really cute. Um, Vicky pointed out that all of my bunnies are running in the same direction. Crown rows. I've done those. Those are delightful. But, so, it works for Easter dinner, doesn't it? It's got little bunnies and kitties and it's so cute. Someone said reservations. I'm making reservations. Oh. <laughs> Easter dinner. Hey, Miranda. Welcome to the show. That is a good thing well. to make for Easter. And then this is one that... Um, talk about UFOs. Oh, yes. How many years ago did we do this project? Well, I, I mean, there might be a few people on here <laughs> who've been around that long. So this was the, gosh, 20 degree ruler, 18 degree ruler. Something like that, yeah. So, and we had this really cool kind of stripey fabric. So this is actually patterned in the fabric. This is not pieced. Oops. A little string there. And so I took some of this fabric and pieced this together. And years later... A UFO knocked out. <laughs> well, you got to show them the back. <laughs> oh, the back's fun too. It's a fun fabric. Yeah, so a couple of people have said this is before my time. <laughs> I think it's before we even had our YouTube channel because a lot of our shows you can go back and rewatch. Like the what was the one when we were at the when I went to the dentist, hon? Oh, People man. are still co commenting to me about did I have laughing gas? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no la no laughing gas, but I always have fun. So okay, like modern Dresden plates is what. I uh, thought it was really cool. Lori Ann was saying. Yeah, so we've been having the modern discussion. This would be considered a modern quilt. So it's a, um, it is a new take on an old pattern. So Dresden is a very old um, quilt block, and that's just a new. So color of the month, last chance to get it, because next Monday is the first is of course green for this month 2865 is the color 15% off for the show if you're in the club it's 20% off if you're not in the club it's $20 to join you get this cute little box that you can store your thread in I've heard that this is great to take with you when you go to retreat and um, then all of your thread is 20% off so were you going to mention them if they're me members of the club that they can just go to the website anytime? Um, I was going to have Sean go through and so people that are in the club give them a special code. So it's a marketing code so that when you do go to the website, so when you're in the club, it's not just the color of the month. It's any color you want in the Aerofill um, 58 large spools is 20% off. So I was asking Sean, we were talking about it today, to have him go through, find the people who are in the club, and send them the marketing code so that you, when you do your checkout, so if you go to the website and say, I need more, um, my favorite, aluminum 2615, I need more of that, you can just punch in the code and get your 20% off. So, and it will be unique to you. Please don't share. Giveaway. Quilters are very generous. Robert's laughing at me over here going, what? Of course they're going to share. I that don't was care. not my thought. Do or don't. I don't, <clears throat> yeah. Um, this is our giveaway. It is a scan and cut storage box, but I also think it works for thread too. Yeah, or you could probably put bobbins in there mm -hmm. or your pins or something. I mean... 
a lot of a lot of options for you, I think. Yeah, I mean, an accessory it's, box. It's Find an accessory something to put box. In there. It's got a nice little zipper on it, so all nice. of this stuff that you need to take with you for the retreat, you can fit right in there. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Um, Pam and Erica from AccuQuilt are going to be at Quilt Sampler on the thirteenth. I think it's at eleven. It's ten dollars to sign up if you're not. Um, if you're in the, the local Springfield or, you know, drivable distance, it's going to be at, starts at 11. And, um, what? I thought it was snowing there for a minute, but I don't think it is. What? Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah. Um, starts at 11. It's an AccuQuilt um, event. They're bringing all the show and tell. I'll probably take some of mine down too. Yeah. So if you haven't been to see Pam, she's. Very entertaining she and a lot of very fun. Entertaining so and very Erica. creative and so <laughs> Yeah, so the AccuQuilt superstars are gonna be joining us at Quilt Sampler. So be sure and sign up for that. Seating is limited. I know there are some people already signed up for it. It is an in person. So for all of you who are not not nearby. But so I have another quilt on the long arm right now too. It's the latest AccuQuilt project. No sharing, Kathy. No, no sharing. sharing your Inadonis appointments no. and no snow. <laughs> but thank you. So Always thinking of us. Oh, um, okay, so um, we need a winner. Who was our winner? It was April Green. April, congratulations. April, if you have not shopped with us before, please go to quiltershq.com and register for Joan Sews. Sign up for the newsletter so that we have your information and we will reach out to get this to you. <laughs> Pretty generous that way. That's right. <laughs> Kathy's been with us for a long time. Yes, um, thank we you. We always Kathy. appreciate Kathy. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. It's a lot of fun, of course. Oh, the dentist? The endodontist. Oh. <laughs> We're working on it. We need Ooh. a specialist. <clears throat> so, that's us yeah. for tonight. And look, I finished up like two minutes early. And remember to uh, check us out on Pinterest and get some inspiration yeah. as we keep posting out there and get things going. And, and you got the strawberry shortcake. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's like it's the ones I saw colorful. were strawberry, but these, the, the other colors that go in it, you know, when we start getting some purple in it, I, I don't know, kind of still does make a strawberry shortcake, but I think it's a fun project. Do a simple wall hanging if you like it. I mean, try it out. You may enjoy doing it. If you don't enjoy doing it, abandon it. Abandon project. Mm. If you're interested and need a new adoption for a sewing machine, this is a great machine um, yes. at a great price. Sewing Machines Express. And let's see. Happy Easter to everyone. Yes. So definitely enjoy your, your time. And as we always say... Oh, no doubt. I had to do it a couple of times this she weekend <laughs> when I was sewing. Check your thread path. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> Check your thread path. Even if it looks like it's threaded right, there's something. Um, change your needle because you might not have the right size needle. might need to go up a size or down and then oil your hook. And if that doesn't work, schedule a spa day for your sewing machine and for yourself. Let's see, somebody's asking uh, how they sign up for the AccuQuilt with Pam. Um, we'll post a link there for us. Really great question, Carol. Thank you. Um, go to quiltsampler.com and then go to classes. It will be listed there. I do you believe AccuQuilt is advertising this as well? Yes, so, so you might see it pop up on their, their feed as well. And um, they're calling it a trade-up event. So AccuQuilt has a, it's not just a trade-up event. There's all kinds of stuff that they'll be talking about. If you're new to AccuQuilt, it's a perfect thing to go to. If you've been curious about AccuQuilt, perfect. If you are a long-time user of the AccuQuilt cutting system, come anyway and see all of the new projects. Or and just have fun and 
spend spend a portion of your day with us. Pam and Erica are very entertaining. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a great Easter. Yes. And we will see you next week. Yes. Same bad time, same bad channel. That's right.